hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will work on the home.php file so let's start so open your text editor and let's just close some file and i think we will close this header login sign up and then sign up and now we will create a new file and we will save this file in the social network folder and we will name oh I just remember that we create this home.pg file already so over here so now we will remove this so guys to make thing work easy we will just copy all of the code from the profile.php and then we will paste it on the home.php and we will remove all of these divs all of that data up to here and remove this style tag from here I mean from the home.php because we don't need that and we will keep this link to the home underscore style.css because we will do some CSS work so now inside this div we will open up another div and we will close that div obviously and then class will be equals to call minus or hyphen sm and then hyphen 12 and uh, I think we need to give it an ID to style it so ID will be insert underscore post because we are making the form to insert the post so forum and then its ID will be equals to uh, the ID will be or we will just remove that id and we will just type class and class will be equals to i mean action will be equals to so action will be on the home.php file and then we will set the id will be equals to uh, we will echo the dollar user underscore id variable and then method will be equals to post and uh, id will be now equals to f just f and then e and c type will be equals to the multi part and I think it's a form and then hyphen data that's it and now just open up a center tag above the forum and close it down below and now inside this form we will first open up a text area and text area will be first we will give it a class class will be form minus or hyphen control and then its id will be equals to content content there and uh, total number of rows will be four and uh, its name will be content and uh, placeholder will be uh, what's in you your mind and then question mark and uh, add a br and after the text area we will uh, display the update post symbol or anything so for that we will type class and class will be equals to btn btn hyphen warning and then its id will be equals to upload underscore image underscore button and uh, that's it 
and over here we will type select image and now inside this label class we will open up a input type and input type will be file and uh, name will be upload underscore image and uh, size will be I think 30 and after the label tab or tag I mean tag then we will open up a button tags and uh, this button tags will have an ID ID will be btn hyphen post and then class will be equals to btn btn hyphen success and then its name will be equals to we will just type sub and this means submit and then over here we will type post and now if we save this and refresh our home.php file here is our beautiful home.php file we will design this don't worry we will just move this button over here and the password button will be little big in or large in size and in the middle we will show all the posts like instagram so this page is also responsive if you see that if you click over here and that's all so now after the center tag or after the closing tag of the forum we will open up a php tags and over here we will call a function and the function name will be insert post and uh, that's it insert capital p and then small ost and that's it so now let's create this function so for that we will create a new file and this file will be stored in our functions folder and we will name this as functions.php click save and if we just click over here here is our function.php file and now first we will create a variable dollar con and i think above the variable we will open up a php tags and then we will just close that so now this uh, variable will be equals to my sql i underscore connect and uh, now we will connect the functions.php file with our database so in the includes folder and then the connection.php file we already did that so we will just copy all of that and instead of type all that code we will just paste it and uh, that's it so now we will type a message function for inserting post and then we will just type function and it will be insert capital P O S T and uh, over here we will first open up a if condition so if I set I will s e t that's it if I set dollar underscore post and if the sub button is clicked the submit button is clicked then we will open up another no first we will global not global global up the dollar connection variable so now you can use this variable everywhere and uh, we will global up the dollar user underscore id variable and then we will create a variable content and it will be equals to html entities and then dollar underscore post and uh, then not sub i think the 
content because on the home.php page its uh, name is equals to content okay so content so in this content variable we will store the textual input uh, post okay and then we will create a variable upload underscore image it will be equals to dollar underscore files and then the upload underscore image and then we'll type name and after that we will get a variable img underscore tmp and then it will be equals to dollar underscore files and over here we will type upload underscore image and then I think the tmp underscore name and uh, then we will create a random variable I just type random underscore number and it will be equals to R A N D. We use this method in the previous videos. Okay, so make sure you watch that videos and understand why we are just creating this random number variable. So if str len and then the content so if the content is greater than 255 words then we will echo an alert and for that we will type alert and then we will open up a script tag please use 250 or less than 250 words and then we will redirect them to the home.php file and for that we will type so we will open up a script tag then we will close that then window.open and then home.php so and uh, if this if condition is not true then we will type else and inside this else condition we will again open up a if condition and uh, if str len and then the dollar upload underscore image is greater than or equals to one and then str land and then the dollar content is greater than or equals to one so now if user select an image and type something let me just show you if you just just type hey and then select image okay and if they both are equals to one one that means so we will just echo the image and then the the status of that image just like in Facebook okay so I hope you understand what I am saying so, so first we will move the uploaded file so for that we will type that move uploaded underscore file and then the image underscore tmp and destination will be so now the destination will be the home image post and then upload image and then the random number and then we will close that and now we will create a variable insert not this insert will be equals to a query and query will be insert into I think the post table we just created this post table in the previous videos so this is our post table okay so guys we will stop this video over here because I don't want to make so long video so guys this is it for this video in the next video we will continue our work from here so thank you guys for watching